Now, formal introductions, or should I give her one? Yes, I must. She, she's uh, extraordinaire, actress extraordinaire, and uh, she's with us for the first time, Tania Miller. How are you doing, darling? Hello, How are you? Good. Looking rather glam. Thank you. Rather Christmassy. Much. Yes. Mm, I, like it, I like it. I like it. A bit of sparkle. Mm. And let's talk about your sparkling life. Uh huh. Yeah. First of all, uh, Tania, what made you go into the world of acting? Um, I've been answering that question ever since mm. I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it started, I think anyone who goes into acting, it's a real passion, mm. you know, um, it's filled with so much uh, uncertainties that you don't go into it unless you have that kind of fire in your belly, yeah, yeah. Um, and that was driven from when I was very, very young, okay. so I think my first play that I can really remember, I played Fagin in Oliver Twist. Oh gosh, <laughs> a, a female playing Fagin, a that female is playing brilliant. Fagin. Yeah. I mean, to, to really get your teeth into. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. At eight years old, playing yeah. Fagin with the school, and it just kind of continued, continued yeah. from there. But you, you wasn't born here. Was, I was. You was born I was here, born but you, here. you was a 70s baby. Did you yes. not grow up in the um, island of Jamaica? Yeah. Or I, raised? I, I, for spent, a I spent some time, yes. I spent a brief time in my childhood, I think, <gasps> um, between four and five or so, yeah. um, in the countryside. Uh huh. Yes. Born here, but. Went over yes. and stayed a little while and then came and back. And then came back. Okay. You didn't feel anything. There was no difference, was there? Because you're too young to feel as if there was a change. There was a difference. Or am um, I wrong? I think the only difference I noticed was well, people didn't understand me because they came back with a real thick accent, you know. <laughs> so I remember that. Yeah. And my mother going, oh goodness, how on earth am I going to send her to school? <laughs> so yeah. Okay, but you learnt how to speak the Queen's English, if you will. Yeah, well, okay, um, you then, at the age of eight, as you say, but then you played a, a very particular role in a very, very remarkable uh, production. Mm. Everybody loves Oliver Twist. Everybody does. Um, you got the bug. Yes, that's when you got the bug. So, what did you do about it? And um, years later, after kind of getting married oh. and and having children. Okay. And what have you, uh, and then divorcing. Okay. <laughs> As I you went do. To... <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <laughs> so, very <laughs> years later, um, in my early 20s, I went off to drama school, uh -huh. a fantastic school, a good school of acting, um, mm. who were kind of known for voice, their voice training and musical theatre, although I am a straight actor. So, that okay. was three wonderful years of my life. Um, yeah kind of really honing the craft, yes, you know, so yeah. going from amateur theatre and doing bits and bobs here and there to yeah. kind of going, right, this is it, I'm you know, making that commitment to, yeah, uh, yeah. to do that. It's a tough business to it's, get into, yes, I mean, it's it very, and I use the, the terminology dog eat dog, but yeah. very much so. Uh, for one role, you get hundreds of people auditioning for that. Oh, um, you've got to have thick skin, mm. if you will, Tania, mm -hmm. it, you know, how, how did you cope with that, get, getting a knock? Yeah, no, you certainly do have to have thick mm. skin in this industry um, to continue because there are many, many knockbacks. Yeah. Um, but I think when you do get that job, it, it's so rewarding, yeah. um, you know. And like I say, you have to have a passion for this, otherwise you wouldn't do it. So of it's that course. passion and that fire that drives you through. Yeah. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Now, you, you mentioned the fact that you've got some um, credits to your name. Um, yes. Let's talk about the Thank things you. that we know about on the TV. <laughs> um, let's, let's kick off with um, The Bill. Because I think everybody knows that it may not be on the, on the mainstream, but it's still on, on the, the Sky, the Golden Oldies, what have you. Yeah. The Bill is a, a TV um, police uh, series, isn't yes. it? And it's been on for, it was for years and years and years. When you got the part for The Bill, yeah. what did you do? When you got the phone call? When I got the phone call? Yeah. You know, it's funny, because sometimes you go to an audition and you mm. just kind of know. You just know that you've got How it. How do you know? It's about... Sometimes how long you may stay in the uh, uh, in the audition, uh, the kind of questions that they ask you. Yes. Um, and I thought, think with this one because we, I was in the audition for about forty-five minutes, just speaking with the director. That is long. Which is a long time okay. for for a casting. Um, normally, you know, it's five, ten minutes, you're in and out. Whoa. Um, so I thought, yeah, no, I've, I've definitely definitely got this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. So that was fun. <laughs> and what part did you play? Did you play a villain? I didn't play a villain. Oh. Actually, you know, I never get those. I get very bitchy roles. But I never kind of get the villainous roles, so oh, I'm always very yeah. middle class, um, you know, professional. Oh. So I was a head teacher of oh. a state comprehensive who had a problem with cocaine, so with drugs. Oh. Yeah, so okay. that was great. <laughs> but you know what we love, though? <laughs> to see 
um, one of our sisters or brothers mm. having a positive role. Yeah. We just love that. I know you guys, for your career, you love to play the villain, get your teeth into yes. a you know, gritty um, character role. But we love to see yeah. our brothers and sisters play a positive yeah. role for us to say, yeah, that's I, good. I like that. Yeah. Instead of always playing the gunman or the drugs, yes. you yeah. know. Yeah dealer and what have you so that was good okay um urban uh, gritty urban um dub plate drama dub plate drama that was on channel four it was yeah i yes. remember to, to remind me about that one well now dub, dub plate drama was quite new in the sense that uh, we'd we would film two different endings so and the caller you know the viewers would call in and decide which decision <gasps> yes, they would yes, make you know the a I side and the b yes. side that was fantastic now she was a real character she was a real meanie uh -huh. um, and married to David Icke, so it was fantastic mm. filming and working with David Icke, you know, um, the guru himself. Yeah. Um, so that was that was that was lots of fun with Shiesty yeah. and uh, lots of the young young yes, people. Yes, yeah. Um, mm. Holby City, Holby. BBC's Holby City. Yeah. Um, what roles did you play? Was another positive one, was it not? Um, it was a, it was she was positive. She was fine. Frank Connolly. Mm. Um, she was a biker. Um, mm. But doing her own thing, very independent. Very independent, yeah, kind of, yeah exactly. Mm. Uh, who suffered? Uh, it was all to do with. Oh God, this is really bad because I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was an all illness. To do with the that... It was all to do with the scandal. No, she got into a road traffic accident yeah. and had her face hanging out. And it was all to do with the scandal with the um, <sighs> what's it called, the plastic surgeons that they had going on earlier. Uh... On. Yeah. So interesting. It was Again, all to do, interesting. to do with that. Yeah. What, what, the makeup for that then. Because if your face was hanging off... I've got to say, you, yeah. that was the most fun. That was, that was the best part of the role. <laughs> How long did it take for them to do that? Though? Talk forever. Like, yeah. they, you know, first they take this cast of your face. And, and I remember walking into the makeup room one yeah. day and seeing my head... You know, yeah. made out of just rubber on the slab. It was it was quite daunting. Wow. <laughs> Were you allowed to keep it? Tell me I that. wasn't allowed to keep oh. it. I did ask them to send it to me, but you know, yeah. they didn't. Oh, yeah. but that, that's amazing. Um, doc, you played Doctor, a Doctor in the Disappeared. What's this? Oh, that was a feature film that was out some, some years ago. I don't yeah. know this. It's one. horror. <gasps> it was it's a horror film, brilliant horror. A British independent, um, another British independent yeah. um, film. And, and she was tooting this uh, young man for possible schizophrenia psychosis. And actually, um, he wasn't, you know, schizophrenic or, or suffering from psychosis. No, he'd actually been seeing duppies. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and you found this out. Yes. You realised yeah, what, what yeah, it was. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So that was that. Mm -hmm. Malika in the Dead Side. Again, another. Yeah. Um, oh wow, that was interesting because we yeah. filmed this up in the Bournemouth in this old army mm. camp which was uh, quite spooky yeah. in and of itself. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Malika had, uh, during her pregnancy, there was um, a scare that she would lose lose her baby. Mm. And so she went to see a Sangoma, who enabled her to, you know, to keep this child. Yes. But then a few months later, after delivering her, her child, mm. her, her, child her baby dies. Oh. Um, and so oh. her husband takes him along, back to the Sangoma, yeah. and they trade their life. So the husband trays his life for uh, the baby. Uh, yes, well, he says, you know, the dead side want the most precious thing uh, um, to you. Yeah. And he said, well, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll give my life for my, for yeah. my son's life. Yeah. But of course, you know, the most precious thing apart from his son was her. Yeah. So, um, so she ends up... some deep roles there, don't you? <laughs> but tell me about, you said you, you was at an army, an old army barracks. Yeah. Against sort of like playing in, in a, if you like, the atmospheric place mm. in, like, uh, at location or mm. in location, to studio, which one do you prefer? I much prefer uh, filming on location. Okay. Yeah, definitely all the time. Because it gives you the feel. Exactly, it, it yeah? gives you something, and there's so much mm. more to play. Although mm. it can be a nightmare filming in terms mm. of you know, mm. planes and sounds and that kind yeah. of stuff. Lighting. Yeah, yes, yeah, lighting. Yeah. It just it can be quite uh, yeah. a nightmare. But it, it's it's great that you're kind of in a different space every yeah. day, yeah. you know, for yeah. a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, and it just keeps it kind of. Alive and again, of course, like you say, it adds to yeah to the scene to, to the scene yeah and it enhances your role exactly. Is it not? So it's exactly. I'm just going to quickly say this one. Uh, Eleanor, I have to say this one quickly. In Dance with the Devil, Eleanor Dance with the Devil. Oh, then this is. I don't know if you know um, a rapper called Immortal Techniques. Well, there's certain people saying yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, go yeah. On yeah okay. <laughs> so, Immortal, Immortal Techniques has this song called Dance with the Devil, uh -huh. and um, this was taken from that song. So he mm. was in a kind of in a gang. Yeah. And uh, one, yeah. You know, so there was, I think it was a gang of seven, and they were initiating this guy. And um, and part of the initiation was that they had to, he has to, 
don't know if I can say this since so early in the morning. Try and do Actually. it in a very tactful way. Oh, God, so diplomacy isn't one of the skills that I employ. Do you want us to so pass he, this on? Yeah, maybe we should pass maybe this on. We should pass one. this on. Good, because now I'm going to go on to... Yeah, so if anyone yeah. knows the, the story or, or the song, Dance of the Devil, Multit Technique, that was Google it, it. And you can, yeah. Google it and you'll find out. I want to go on to your latest film release. Stud. It's called Stud Life. Stud Life, You yes. play a character called JJ, mm. um, um, and, and it's uh, very much of a street kind of themed um, yeah. production. Yeah. Um, so describe to us your character as well as the production style. Um, JJ, now mm. this has got to be, I think to date, the most fun part role that yeah. I've played yeah, so yeah. far. Um, she's a very, she's in her 20s, she's yeah. a very butch um, lesbian, okay. but she has swagger. Uh -huh. And apparently in that world you call them a stud. Okay. So I played the ah, stud um, who, you know, the kind of East London street life was yeah. was her, uh, you know, thing. That, that, that was her yeah. thing. Um, and so I had to walk around in her mm, body mm. for a while. She's a wedding photographer and she's always kind of oh. going from one relationship to the other, her and her best mate. Yeah. Said, um, she works just to be able to kind of smoke and, and, and drink and have a, have a good time. A, have a good time yeah. Exactly. Mm. Um, so, so that was JJ. So, but, but playing her, because I'm not... That way. Ultra masculine. Right, yeah. Um, I had to kind of, you know, bind and, and I got a boy's haircut and so that was interesting and walked in her shoes for a little while. Yeah, yeah. Um, and when I was out, I was people who perceived me as, as a boy, as a yeah, young boy. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that was, it was very interesting to see the difference in terms of how Tania is seen by the general public and, and JJ how and JJ was, as was a young it? black boy. Yeah, so yeah. that was really interesting and I kind of had an insight into the kind of the, the, the lives life our of young, yeah. our young, our young black boys yeah, go through, go through yeah, actually, yeah. and it's it's pretty tough. Well, let's have a bit of a teaser on this one. Yeah. This is a stud life. Let's see uh, Tia Miller, aka JJ, in action. What? Oh, it's not the liberal. That's Seb, my bread dream. Why am I so tight with a gay man? Well, if I was tight with a femme, it might get kind of complicated. Wait to film out. Yo, Seb. Bob, I'm so sorry. We can get a start. You don't like L, do you? No, furthermore, you can't can stand seeing somebody. Uh, no, she's not right for you. L is blushes. All you got to do, tell me what to do. Seb. No, hang on, mate. You told me to tell you if I thought you were going after someone who was bad. Oh, what? No, nah, hang on, bruv. I am not. Like, what is true love? How do you know when you found it? But I need your love today. All right. Oh, gosh. Real dude, eh? Yeah. yeah. She's pretty stunning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you played the part well, I've got to say. You played the part well. Um, this is being uh, distributed um the US, France and Germany. Mm. It's going to be released in the UK next year, February. Yeah. Yeah. How so excited are you? I'm really excited. I mean, it did the BFI earlier this ah. year, so it's done some of the festivals. The How did that go down? Really well. Yeah. And it was sold out. It, we had it on there for three nights and well it was done. sold out, well you know, done. each night. So Yeah. Well done to you, good. well done to you. Yes. So February uh, 2013, we can expect to hear about this. You'll okay. let us know, let Lifestyle know, so we Definitely. can let the viewers know. Absolutely. About that one. Yes. Good luck on that one. I'm sure you're going to have lots of awards for 2013. <laughs> Do not forget us, Tia. Um, now, a next project. This is theatre now. This is theatre. This is, this is stepping yeah. the boards now. Um, you're going to be exploring this production. I love the way you say this. Uh, female to female abuse. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me about that. Well, going a little bit dark, actually. Damn. Um, mm, ah. It's the second piece that I've ever written, mm -hmm. so this is going to be a challenge in and of itself, mm -hmm. um, and I'm looking forward to that challenge. Mm -hmm. um, we always explore, you know, when we hear, when we speak of sexual abuse, or we hear about sexual abuse, we mm -hmm. it's always a man, Men, female, male to female. Mm -hmm. We never hear about the female to female. Mm. Um, it's something that's not spoken about. So at the moment, I'm just doing some research with a clinical psychologist who works at Holloway Prison for Women. Um, 
about the kind of stories and yeah. the case studies that come up yeah. and just wanting to kind of shed some light on it to understand why it happens and, 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 to, and to tell the stories. And to tell the stories. So it's a two-handed piece um, when I'll be playing against the wonderful Lorna Gale. Oh wow, I, yes. yes. Yeah. yeah, she's um, earlier, earlier. won some awards recently. Yes, she yeah. did. Um, a special achievement award for Befton. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, did. A couple of months ago. A couple of months yeah. ago, exactly, mm. just a few months ago. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a real honour to, um, to play with her. I should mm. be writing and then we're getting to the studio and, and devise mm -hmm. some scenes and yeah. yeah. When are we expecting to see that? <gasps> well, probably in the summer. Summer of next yeah, year. Yeah, I'm hoping summer 2013, so watch this space. We've got two great things to look forward to from you. There's going to be much more, I'm sure. So we're yes. talking about Stud Life and we're talking about, what is that theatre production going to be called? The stage play. You um, haven't got a name I'm yet? Not, I haven't got a name Answers yet. on a postcard, yeah, please. Yeah, please. <laughs> hey, why don't we do that? For real? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so it, uh, this is a theatre play and it's exploring female to female abuse. You've got a great title for this. Send it through. Email us, lifestyle on Ben, all one word, lifestyle on Ben at hotmail.co.uk. I'll pass it through to Tania and she can choose. And you know what? Who knows? Who knows? You may even find one of them is fantastic, is the one. Yeah. And they could be invited as a guest of honour. To the first production absolutely yeah 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 <laughs> brilliant what we want you to do now for our, our viewers is yeah. to give them any information that they need you email address websites what have you yeah. look straight into the camera please darling well you can find me at the actors file so it's www.theactorsfile.co.uk or you can follow me at on twitter which is at tania miller so um you can follow me there to find out what i'm doing next and again, regarding the female to female thing, if you have any suggestions mm -hmm. or you want to kind of put an input or tell your story, do come, do come, to, come to me and you can find me on Facebook. Excellent. So, yeah, I think lovely. that's it. <laughs> lovely. Um, Tia, aka JJ. AKA JJ. <laughs> lovely to see you once again. Pleasure. Thank Take you. good care of yourself yes. and have a lovely Christmas if I don't see you beforehand. Absolutely. Yeah, Thank you for having me. No worries. All right, short break now. When we come back, uh, Joa Campbell, Global Sporting Colour, all you need to know in the world of sport. See you soon.